Well, let's begin with just talking about today being the 55th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act. Why is that important? Wow, at the first, well, I mean, today being that anniversary uh, of the Voting Rights Act, really, I think it's extra special to someone like me. You know, I'm a person who lost the right to vote uh, because of a, a previous felony conviction and uh, was part of the movement, actually led the movement here in Florida to uh, re-enfranchise people formerly convicted of felony offenses. And we were successful in doing so. And so as a person who've lost the right to vote and have fought long and hard to get it back, uh, there is a, a deep appreciation uh, for the Voting Rights Act. And the U.S. House wants to restore some of the parts of the 1965 Voting Rights Act that were overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court ruling, and they named the new bill after late Congress member John Lewis. Um, how important would something like that be to, to voting in, in, the, in, in America? Oh, man, that would be extremely important. Because when you really think about voting and when you think about our democracy, right, that we should inspire to be a country all right, that expands our, our democracy, it makes it more inclusive, knowing that a more inclusive democracy is a more vibrant democracy, and a more vibrant democracy is good for everyone. And so our states, uh, they should be committed to engaging in practices that clears a, a, a pathway for every citizen to be able to participate in elections, not create obstructions. And states that are doing so, I believe really are breaking a contract uh, that they have with its citizens. And one of the states could be considered to be Florida, even though the, the people of Florida voted for Amendment 4 to restore the rights to vote to, to most people who had been incarcerated. Uh, the, the legislature and the governor kind of put up roadblocks and that's working its way through the courts. What, what would you say to someone who still owes fines and fees and is concerned about registering to vote in the election in November, uh, if, if you think that there's these barriers, what, what kind of hope would you give them or what kind of advice would you give them? Well, the first thing I would tell anyone who may think that they have fines and fees or don't know how much they owe, that there is, we are here to help you. There is an organization in Florida, the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, and we are 100% committed to walking with each and every individual, every step of the way. And we have started a, a fines and fees fund where we've been able to raise a significant amount uh, uh, of dollars, which we will, are, are dedicating to helping people who have fines and fees pay their fines and fees off. So we're here for you. All they have to do is contact us. Uh, it's very simple. They can just text the word fines to the number 82623. Once again, text the keyword fines, F-I-N-E-S, to the number 82623, or they can call our 1-800 number, which is 1-877-MY-VOTE-0, 1-877-MY-VOTE-0. And we have staff that's on standby waiting to help anyone, any one of the 1.4 million who wants to participate in our democracy, we're gonna be fighting tooth and nail to make sure that you get that opportunity. And there's still time before the November election to register to vote for people who had their rights taken away and if there's a way for them to restore those rights. Yep, there, there's, uh, time is, is, is shortening, but we have until October 5th to get people registered. And we are working around the clock seven days a week. Trust me when I say this, every single day of the week, we're doing some type of work to ensure that people have that opportunity. Let me ask you about news that happened this week. Iowa's governor, Kim Reynolds, signed an executive order that granted convicted felons the right to vote that ended Iowa's place as the only remaining state to broadly deny voting rights to felons. What's your reaction to what's happening in Iowa? Well, when I, when I heard the news about Iowa, I was like, man, that's what it's all about. That, you know, at the end of the day, whether you're Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're independent, or don't even have any preference, right? At the end of the day, deep, in the heart of every American citizen, I believe, is a desire to have a vibrant democracy and that every American citizen should have that opportunity to weigh in during elections. And so when the Iowa governor assigned that executive order, I thought that was an amazing thing, especially coming from a, a conservative governor 
that shows that when we talk about voting, it should transcend partisan politics. It's about humanity. It's about what it means to be an American citizen in this country. And it's about how we want our democracy to actually operate. Well, Desmond Mead, Executive Director of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, is there anything else you'd like to leave our listeners before I let you go? You know, right now, you know, I, I tell folks that, you know, our state, the state of Florida, and the courts are right now holding democracy hostage, right, in Florida. And that we are, we're calling on every American citizen that believes in democracy, right, to not look at the Supreme Court decision as a, a setback, but rather as an opportunity to step up in free democracy in Florida. We also look at this as an opportunity for people like me and other uh, returning citizens in Florida to step up and make sure that we do everything that we can to register to vote and participate in elections. Because at the heart of this issue is that a state should not force any of its citizens to decide between putting food on the table for their kids or voting. A state should not have to decide, force a citizen to decide about paying rent or being able to vote, right? The ballot box should be uh, accessible to every able-bodied American citizen in spite of their economic status. Well, Desmond Mead, thank you so much for coming on WMNF today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, I appreciate it. Take care, bye-bye. You have a great day. You too. All right.